Hello friends, Running Kimono here. So today's video we're going to talk about quiet quitting and um, I've seen this a lot on TikTok where people are talking about story times in their workplace where things were just going really badly and how they just did the bare minimum and this is what this phenomenon is. I had to look it up because I wasn't even sure what it was. Now I know you guys really enjoy story times and um, I do have one working in an especially toxic workplace. Forget the quiet because I did work my butt off there, but the quitting part, uh, I did that there after working there for six months. I want to share a story time of a really bad work environment um, and how I really failed at a workplace. What is quiet quitting? Just to give you the backstory, if you're like, I'm seeing this all over the place, what does this mean? Quiet quitting is a new term for an old concept that every generation discovers a new doing the bare minimum at work. So that's what quiet quitting is, is that you're working at a dead end job and, you know, you're asked to do your 40, you're doing your 40, but you're not doing a lick of work above and beyond. And I get it, man. If um, you are working in a place that doesn't inspire, it doesn't infuse you, it's not like, you know, you're just like passionate about what you're doing for a living, why would you do more than the bare minimum to earn that paycheck? So this is what it's been coined as quiet quitting. So I do have a story time for you guys. And I know a lot of you really um, enjoy these story times. So um, as many of you know, I am not a citizen. So upon moving to the United States uh, 10 plus years ago, um, I got a job in an office and on paper, it seemed like the perfect fit and I would probably work, you know, 20, 30 years and this would be the career for me working at this company. And um, the lady who was initially training me, um, she did not like me. And, you know, I know a lot of you, especially the ladies out there, you just know when somebody doesn't like you, how they treat you. And that's exactly how the tour of the office went, you know, just this is that person, don't look at them, this is this, this is the washroom, you know, you're allowed to have 20 minutes for lunch, do not be a minute late because I'm timing you, just stuff like that, but not in a joking manner because she was serious as a heart attack. So um, her training was weird, uh, her concept and understanding of computers was from like, I think when they had the first um, AOL chat uh, CD that came out in like, 1996 like she would say you know you need to type out the website uh, safari.apple like stupid stuff like that like just a website's a website and um she micromanaged me but she wasn't even my manager she was just like kind of like a supervisor just showing me the ropes at this one company I was working in three different departments um, because they knew quickly you know I had worked in this business and I could you know take on little jobs and my favorite thing about this place was come to work at eight o'clock work for two hours come back at noon for a couple hours and then finish your evening like a couple hours so I was at work the entire day with the stick and carrot of we will hire you full time so this went on for some time I didn't have a life other than this job and then dealing with Mrs. Personality who was on me all the time um, working in Excel documents a lot of you know that there's a lot of like little quick keys and stuff to press to expedite a file and I would practice that and she'd want me to type everything in manually everything in manually and if she ever caught me I would get written up and um, it was just stuff like that non-stop and just a really hard person uh, she would give me things to like look at to double triple check and then uh, go into like the wording of any document and then put numbers in there like the number O for zero and if I ever mess that up while I was doing work for two other departments she was on me about that, giving me a huge speech about, you know, integrity and just half-assing it uh, with quick keys. And it was just one of these things, like I was just set up to fail. And I knew that she really despised me, that the woman that I was sitting in for, um, because she was on a sick leave, um, when I met this woman, she just barely acknowledged me. And they and her and Mrs. Personality went out for lunch. And when they came back to the office, um, the woman that I was doing the sick leave replacement for looked at me and kind of rolled her eyes. And I'm like, nice to meet you too. And then I just went back to work. And at that point, I knew I was just set up to fail. Um, and working these stupid hours of work from eight till 10. And then, you know, a little, every weekend I had to be in there for weird hours too. Totally illegal too. You can't do that, you know. <laughs> and um, quiet quitting just turned into quitting. And uh, they had set me up for a weekend of all this magic of work an hour here, work an hour there, do this, do that. And I'm like, you know what, you guys can take care of that. J'ai done. Um, and when my, my, my really good workmate friend uh, went on her lunch break, that's when I left. I didn't even get to say goodbye to her. And I think that was a really nice parting uh, ways with her. Um, 
if you are working in a place that doesn't inspire you, doesn't garner some sort of like passion in your workplace where you're not acknowledged, where your reviews are always like, you know, a three out of five, but you're working your tail off and working all these weird hours and working for, you know, $365 a week and killing yourself for $365. Just know your value and line up another job and just call it deuces and, and figure something new out. And that is okay. Quitting a job isn't a bad thing. Sometimes things are a really bad fit. And I like to think that I'm a smart person and I was put into that situation for six months and that lady gave me the gears daily, daily guys. And I still think about her every once in a while. I'm actually thankful for her because um, it motivated me to go into to do my own thing, but I'll never forget this person. And I think she had a bunch of insecurities, somebody new coming in, doing things in half the time. And I think she was worried about losing her job to me, um, which I think that's why it was just awful. Some of the stuff she would do. I really hope this helps one of you guys out um, because, you know, I really went through it for six months. Um, I was even like crying in the middle of the night and I didn't even know I was crying. I'd wake up with a swollen face. Oof, what a six months that was. And I'm very proud I quit that job. If you had a really bad, crazy work experience, leave it in the comments. I'd love to read it and we'll catch you in the next one.